we have a separate subgroup in Pilaut dealing with that. At the very end, I just want to present you 10 ideas from the practical guidelines. That's basically the kind of 10 ways to audio nirvana. Yeah? How would you approach in your facility the switch to loudness normalization? Yeah? Just very easy points. First of all, found, establish an internal loudness group inside your company. If you haven't done so, do it now. Yeah? That's really vital. Try to get as much as information as possible. Get the key people together in your company. Talk about how we could approach that. What are the specialities in your facilities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just start the process now. Yeah. That's really important. Don't wait until everything is done. Everybody around you has done it. Start now. It's really vital that you do that. Then convince your bosses because it'll cost money. Yeah. It'll cost money, but compare that to the switch of standard defini definition to high definition, the kind of investments that we had to do here. If you compare it with that, I think it's really justifiable for such a fundamental change in audio. I think it's a bigger change than from stereo to surround or from analog to digital. That's really fundamental. Yeah? So it will cost some money. Yes, you have to train all your engineers, all your people, and you have to convince them, but do it. Then. Give the people loudness meters. There are some you know, free open source meters already out there. You can have demo meters as far as file-based one is concerned. Get in touch with your local distributors to give your key people in OB vans, in post-production facilities, loudness meters so that they can get a feel already. How, does it, how, the, how do I work with a loudness meter next to my beloved QPPM? Yeah. So that they can also measure past programs. How loud am I mixing? It turns out when I had my first loudness meter, I mixed all my life around minus 23. Wonderful. I don't have to change anything. Yeah. Great. I was always a softy, you know. I was always a soft mixer. I'd liked, I liked dynamics and I liked not over compression, so I always mixed lower and level than my colleagues, so I don't have to change anything. Yeah. It's great. Check the market also for gear. This year we'll really see a lot of, a lot of uh, new products coming out, a lot of improvements, a lot of activity in this market. Yeah. Of course, we need fully automatable file-based solutions for MXF and these kind of workflows. Yeah. So there's a lot that we still need. Talk to your manufacturers and you know, check the gear available. Establish your, your key areas also for, sorry, for where you start with loudness normalization. You don't have to start everywhere at the same time. Maybe you start in the production areas, you know, or maybe you start where you have a lady ingesting the commercials into your server. She gets a loudness meter right away. Start at the real key points, commercials, trailers, these kind of things. Yeah. You will, of course, face obstacles. Yeah. Don't give up. Be patient with that. You will have maybe elderly colleagues. You introduce the loudness concept to them, and they will look at you like that. You know. What? What shall I do? Try to convince them. Be patient over and over time. It'll be OK. Use this momentum also to you know, open up a general discussion about audio quality. You know, now that we can get rid of overcompression, talk about what is the sound of our TVE? What kind of corporate sound do we have? Talk about you know, mixing. Uh, balancing of music to speech, speech intelligibility, you know, talk about these issues and more. Now that we have the focus on audio again, use it. Use it for a general audio quality discussion. And trust your ears. That's really the good news for the engineers. You can trust your ears again. They are really the best loudness meters. Become your facility's Zen master of loudness, so to speak. <laughs> All right, so as a summary, we are in the middle of a veritable audio revolution. And I think we are now really on a good route. The train has started to move, it's gaining speed, and we have now the chance to actually solve that problem once and for all. I think we are not allowed to miss that chance. We really should uh, be uh, you know, working together here. On our way to this ultimate goal for a better world. Yeah. That's, that's really a fantastic chance that we actually can, do a can, can uh, work towards a better world here, you know, so that we have happy consumers all over the place. 
All right, one loudness standard, one open loudness standard for everyone. That's our goal, and we are closer than ever to it. Thank you very much.